Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we had a question on one of our Elementor videos and it was simple and a good question. They said how can we have an inset border? So I've got two examples here and I've done them differently. One that I've coded it in there and one I've just used the features that are available with Elementor here. So let's get started. It's really easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the edit, edit page. I've got this page open over here. Let's go down. We'll start from scratch. I'm going to add a new row and put three columns in it. OK, I'm just going to pop a text module in here. Text editor module. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and just align that to the middle. So to do that, we're in the module itself up here. You can either select it and do it right here, or you can go to style and align it in the middle right there. Okay, I'm gonna give it just a bit of space all round just so we've got a bit of height to it. So I'm gonna go over to the advanced. I'm gonna go to padding and say give it 25 pixels all round. There we go. Okay, and we can put a board around that still on the advanced tab if we look here we've got a border so you can choose what you want I'm going to say solid border there it is I only want it to be sort of one pixel wide so we've got our border going on here but then that's an external border and that's not what we were asked to do and of course you can choose a color for your border here but we can jig it around a bit especially if you're using colors like this so we can go up to background here and we'll just give it a background color see the little paintbrush there and let's just make it something that we can see quite well like a light blue okay and i'm going to copy that color what we can do now if you want to make that border look like it's inset with no coding we can go into the column and give it the same color background here Columns a little dark one on the left corner right there. And we'll go over to style and then background. Give it the same color. Click on the color. We'll paste that hex code in. And it gives the appearance of an inset border there. So that's one way of doing it. And you might think, well, it's too big now. Well, if you want it to shrink down to the same size as it was, go to advanced. We can go down to margin. Just give it, say, 10 pixels should take it back to how it was size wise before and you still got that inset border so that's one way of doing it if you've got colored pages and colored background you can do it that way obviously reverse the colors for darker things if you want to actually code it we can do a very similar thing if we go into here we'll take the text module again we'll put it over here this time I'm not going to Put a background color in the actual column we're just going to use the module itself and we're going to do a little bit of coding here so let's do similar let's select this and what we'll do we'll pop it in the middle using this method this time and the reason i'm doing this because once i do this and go to text tab over here we've got some style tags here which is great so again we can use our normal padding up here and give it the same amount of space all around and I can give it that same background color should be still in my clipboard there we go now we want a border all around it but just around the actual text itself so how much space do we want to give it well let's give it sort of padding 10 we'll try 10 all around and then we'll put a little border on there. So let's go back to the content tab. You've got to make sure you're on the text version of it right here. So you can see this. And after style, it says text align center, semicolon. After text align center, I'm going to say padding. I'm going to say just one entry, 10 picks. So that you give it 10 picks all around. As you can see, it's made it a little bit wider down there. I'm going to put a semicolon in. And I'm going to say border, OK, 
colon. I'm going to say one pix, solid, get it 444 as the color. And as you can see, we've got a border there. Now to increase or decrease the, the space between the border and the actual writing itself, we can up the amount of padding here. So we can make that 20 pix. And if you wanted to, you could do different for left and right. I've got one entry right there that's doing both. If I put two entries in, it'll do top and bottom first one, left and right second one. So you've got more left and right. We can add a bit more. So let's say 30 picks top and bottom, 15 picks left and right. There we go. That's another way of adding an inset border. And you could adjust that so you've got equal top and bottom there if you wanted to. We've stretched it a bit so as you can see this one's stretching a bit at the bottom. There's two ways of creating an inset border. One we're using a bit of code and one we're just using the background itself. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. I hope that's answered that question for you. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.